Okay, look at this, papas. This is the most important part. If you understand this explanation, you understand the fuel injection pump. Those elements, the plungers, they move up and down because they come chaff. Up and down, up and down. And they rotate like this and this, this and this. When you accelerate more RPMs, less RPMs, you rotate all of them, nyan, oh nyan. All of the plungers at the same time rotate less fuel, more fuel when you accelerate in the throttle. Oh, wow, how you do that? Let me explain something, okay. And you move all of them at the same time because look at this. This element, the, the plungers, they enter in a capsule in a capsule and the other one in other capsule and the capsules they have a they have a, a tip connected with a rail and the rail move it like this or like this like this or like this you remember in the video all of them all of them are in capsules and they move like this or this this or this okay look the rail move the plunger like this or this according with the rpms with the throttle what happens when you move the throttle like this or like this? Look, this element is inside, is inside of the body, the cylinder liner. That pore allows the fuel coming in, and this pore return. Okay, suppose that in front of this hole, in front of this hole is located this triangle. You see the triangle? Yeah. And suppose that the hole is in the smaller part of the triangle because, look, because the, the plunger is moving like this or this, you see? When I bring in front of the hole the big area of the triangle because I rotate the, tri the, the triangle, I have the maximum fuel coming yeah. in. When I put in front of the hole the small portion of the triangle is the less amount of fuel coming in, it's idle. And this is why open throttle, idle, why open throttle, depending on the position of the triangle. You understand? Yes. Wow, this is magic, no? Yeah. According with this, nyan or nyan is more fuel or less fuel on top. Good, no? Can you, can, you understand? What is the meaning of this a small triangle here? Ah, of course, in the opposite side, you have other triangle exactly the same for the return. Because if you receive a lot of fuel, only 20% enter in the injector. And 20%, 80% return. For that reason, you need the same hole in the other side. Question, to be clear. Uh, mechanical injection, uh, injection system, you, know, you have a return in the fuel injection pump, and the ah, other one in the injector. On the electronic, same thing or no? In, or, the, in the electronic, all, you have uh, return in the common rail on common and return on the injectors. Both of them. On the common rail and in the on injector. injector. Right now, we are going to talk about that. Mr. Lopez, what's this extra hole right here? Oh, this is for idle. Okay. This is for idle. Nice, no? Guys. We are going to disassemble the pump completely. You have the plungers, all of the plungers on the fuel injection pump, all of the plungers, and you have chimps. What about those chimps? What about those chimps here? Keep what is the function? To keep it at the right height. To calibrate, to calibrate the volume of the combustion chamber when the piston is in top the center. Uh -huh. Ah, I need more pressure in my fuel injection pump. I need more pressure in my fuel injection pump. You send the fuel injection pump to the laboratory and they replace those chimps. For thicker or thinner? Smaller. Thin, thinner. Thin. Because you need more compression on, on, the, on, on the head. Oh, that pump, the pressure is too much. I need, I need less pressure. Bigger. Thicker. They replace those, those chimps 
for thicker or thinner depending the pressure that uh, you needed. Uh, because I use this fuel injection pump in different engines. Uh, I use this pump in a, in a Janmar, uh, in, a, in John Deere, in a, yeah. Depending of the engine, the output pressure in each, in each of these should be more or less. In the laboratory, they calibrate with chimp. Don't try to do that by yourself because you don't know what is the pressure. Okay, guys, so you remember, the guys, that I explained that uh, this element move up and down because they come, yes. and more or less with the throttle. With the, throttle. Uh -huh. the throttle is connected to the rail, to this rail. You remember the video that I sent yesterday about the governor, about the governor? This element is in the opposite side of the governor. And look at this internally, my friend, look. Look at the movement. Look at the movement of the plunger. Don't sit down. I'm blind. Oh, Can sorry. You see? You see? Yes. Mm -hmm. You see the movement? Mm -hmm. Nice. More the... RPMs, less RPMs, more RPMs, less RPMs, more, less, more, oh. less. You see? Okay, let me remove this element. Okay, okay, one of the capsules. That capsule enter here and, uh, and, and rotate the element, you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is one capsule. And one second here, I move the second one. The second one, the third one, the fourth one. All right, and now, and now, the rail. The rail is connected, look, with the capsule like this. Nyan, 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 nyan. You see? More RPMs, less RPMs, more RPMs. This is the rail. Those are the capsules, and they are moving like this. You see? Is it supposed to be bent up, or is it? Yeah, it's, it's bended, yeah. But is it supposed to be like that? No, it's, it's supposed to be flat. Sir. Okay. It's supposed to be flat. Okay, guys, nice, no? This is, this is the fuel injection pump, and uh, this is uh, the body of uh, each, this body, and this is each uh, plunger, no? Frankie's holding one. Each plunger is here. He's struggling. Each plunger is here. Each plunger move back and forward, back and forward, and additionally, pam, 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 pam. More RPMs, less RPMs. Okay. So, but based on the RPM, it'll stay in the same position and just Correct, move. correct, correct. And suction more or less. Right. Good, you enjoyed this? Yeah. Guys, let me explain something. Does, on the top of this, have those valves? Correct. Yeah, if I disassembly that one, I have another video clip in the mm -hmm. in the book. Uh, you see the valves. Okay, guys. Here in this portion is located the governor. And right now we are going to disassemble the governor and check the governor. Good? So the fuel comes in and it, it gets pushed up here and then the fuel that's not being used through one of these valves here. Return here. Returns to there. Yeah. Nice, no? Okay, look at this. What is the function of the fuel injection pump? Pressure. pressure. Is pressure. Excuse me? To create the pressure. Okay, create the pressure for the fuel. That's number one. Number two? Deliver, deliver, to the, deliver the amount of fuel amount required in the combustion chamber. In the firing wheel. And allow that the amount of air necessary enter also in the combustion chamber. In other words, the amount of air entering in the intake manifold and the amount of fuel delivered to each injector depend on this. Oh, wow. This element, this element control both of them, fuel and air. According with what? The dog. What parameter? Say to this element, hey, puppy, reduce the air and increase the fuel. The reduce throttle. the fuel, increase the air. The it's, it's and the load, oh. the load applied in the engine. Pay attention. Suppose that this engine is running in a generator. 
and uh, the generator is running is a generator of 10 kilowatts. The generator is running in this moment with around 6 kilowatts of load. But uh, you need to turn on a big, huge air conditioning equipment of 2.5 kilowatts. What happens when you apply the breaker for that big uh, air condition? Oh, you, you hear the motor, no? Oh. And the motor recover, no? Mm -hmm. What happened in that moment with the fuel injection pump? The fuel injection pump delivers more fuel and, and say to the engine, suction more air, papa, quickly, because I send a lot of fuel. And the engine needs a couple of milliseconds to understand, receive more air, and increase the RPM. Yes or not? Do you remember that situation? When, when you put it back, the, when you turn on the big, the heavy load, you hear the generator and recover the RPMs, no? Immediately, that amount of fuel enter additionally in the combustion chamber, the engine suction more air. Nice, no? This is possible only because the governor, the governor control the amount of air and fuel with a special mechanism. Right now, I am going to explain the mechanisms of the governor. You, you, you enjoy the class, Papa? Oh, yeah. Good. This, it, this is magic, no? It's, can you imagine the guys that invent this wonderful element 110 years ago? No, they think 110! And you checking chiquitas in the phone. <laughs> <laughs>